Welcome to the Bold Student Data Portal video tutorial series brought to you by Bold Systems. Video 2, Submitting Data. To begin submitting data to Bold Student Data Portal, select Students from the home page. Once students have signed in with their course username and password, they will be taken to the main student console. This console is designed specifically for students. It's divided into two main sections, data management and data analysis. There are also options for viewing and downloading data. Data submissions were designed to allow different elements to be uploaded separately, allowing multiple students to contribute to the creation of one record. These elements need to be submitted in order, starting with specimen data, then specimen images, trace files, and finally sequences. The activity wall allows students to view all of the different elements being added to their course. Instructions are displayed along the left-hand side of the screen for easy access. The first step in creating your DNA barcode record is finding a sample you want to barcode. Once you find a specimen, collect it, assign it a sample ID, and collect all the information you can about the specimen itself and its collection location. Once you have all this information, you can go to Bold SDP to put it online. Now that you have your specimen ready to upload, click New Specimen. The first step in creating your barcode record on Bold SDP is to upload the specimen data. Instructions are listed along the left-hand side of the specimen data page for easy access. The student attribution is listed in the top right. Multiple students can be selected in case students are working in groups. The names added here will be listed on the record, and once the record's published, they will all be listed as authors. The next step is creating a sample ID. Sample ID is very important. It has to be unique on bold, and it's important to keep it consistent for easy identification. For example, the sample ID 12 underscore GCVS underscore CW underscore 001 contains the year it was collected, the initials of the school, the initials of the student, and a sample number. The next stage is to fill out the specimen details, such as life stage, sex, reproduction, as well as any notes that you might have about the specimen. The taxonomy section contains drop-down boxes for all the major taxonomic divisions between phylum and species. Once students have selected a higher taxon, the drop-down boxes below it will be populated. For example, students can't fill out the order Lepidoptera until they've selected the phylum Arthropoda and the class Insecta. There's also a section to enter the identification method, such as morphology or barcode identification, as well as any taxonomy notes. The collection details section contains fields for all of the relevant collection information, such as who collected the sample, the date the sample was collected. The region and exact site can also be entered. Latitude and longitude must be entered in decimal degrees format. The elevation, depth, and coordinate accuracy can be entered in either meters or feet. Once all the information has been added, clicking Submit will take the students to a confirmation page where they will have the option to directly view the specimen data record they've just created. Once the specimen data has been uploaded, head back to the main student console and select Upload Images. Once again, instructions are listed on the left-hand side of the page. Student attribution is listed in the top right. The sample ID lookup tool displays all of the records that have already been uploaded to a course, allowing students to easily find the sample ID they're looking for. Once the sample ID has been entered, students will be able to see record progress, listing the number of images, trace files, and sequences uploaded to a record. Students must choose a JPEG image to upload to their record. They can add view metadata, like dorsal or ventral, a caption, like on leaf or under rock, as well as the name of the photographer. Multiple images can be added to a record, but they must be uploaded separately. If images need to be deleted from a record, please email edu at boldsystems.org. Clicking Submit will take students to a confirmation page 
where they will be able to view the record they've uploaded with its new image. The specimen data page displays all of the identifier information, the taxonomy, the specimen, and the collection details, as well as the image of the specimen. A zoomable map of the collection location is available if GPS coordinates were provided. Following image upload, select Upload Traces on the main student console. The trace file uploader has instructions listed down the left-hand side of the page. Student attribution is in the top right, and multiple students can be selected. The Sample ID Lookup tool allows students to quickly and easily find the sample ID for the record they're working on. Once the sample ID has been filled in, a record progress report will appear, showing the number of trace files, images, and sequences that have already been uploaded to a record. This allows students to monitor their own progress. Standard primers are available in drop-down menus for both PCR and sequencing. Students must select both forward and reverse primers. This information is very important as it's used during sequence editing to make sure that the primers are trimmed correctly. Students must attach both a forward and reverse trace file. Both AB1 and SCF file types are accepted. The final step in creating your DNA barcode record is to add a sequence. Select Add Sequence from the main student console. Sequence uploading is a fairly straightforward process on Bold SDP, but editing your sequence requires some more in-depth instruction. Please see video 4 for more information. Once the sequence has been uploaded, students will be taken to a confirmation page where they will be able to view the sequence page for their record, containing the newly edited sequence and trace files. The sequence page displays the nucleotide sequence, the amino acid sequence, the illustrative barcode, and the trace file information for the specimen. Now all the elements have been added to the record and the record is complete. Instructors will need to log into their own account to view student-generated records. From there, going to the Course Management Console will allow instructors to view all of the data that's been uploaded to their courses. As students upload records to their courses, they are automatically added to the Record Approval queue on the Instructor Console. Here, instructors can get a quick overview of all of the records that are in any of the courses they are part of. They can see the sequence length, the number of trace files, the number of images, and a rough estimate of sequence quality. From here, instructors can approve records to be added to the administrator approval queue. From there, they will be added to the Bold DNA Barcode Library. Following these steps will allow students to create a complete DNA barcode record on Bold SDP. Check out video 3 for information on how to oversee a course and manage student data.